Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This video very nearly didn't get made. The first time I started making it, I decided the story was too boring. Then the very end happened, so I decided that I would make it. But something really weird happened with the sound and I was about to dump the whole lot. And then I thought, nah, go on, let's just remake it. For some reason, I'm in a video making mode today. So, Persephone, I'd like to bring you the story of Cold Bull Derek. Hello, Persephone, he said. How are you today? I like your name, Persephone. That's very kind of you, said Persephone. Oh, yeah. How's Kirkwall today? You live there, right? I do, yes. Been here for six months, she said. Oh, I see. Is it a lovely place to reside? Never been there? Question mark. Hello, Persephone. How was your day today? Hi, she said, I just turned on the laptop. This was Christmas Eve. I have no idea why I turned the laptop on on Christmas Eve. I probably turned it on just before I went to bed to check my messages. Of course, I've been there, she said. I live here. OK, he said. It's OK. I've never been to Scotland, despite I travel a lot. Where do you live? USA, Texas. Where in Texas? Sugarland. You know Texas too well? he asked, hoping that she'd never been there. What do you mean, too well? When you said this, he said, I thought you actually do know some places in Texas. And that was because she'd asked him, where in Texas? I do, she said, but I've no idea what too well means. Oh, OK, so how was your day? Fraught. I arrived at my daughter's house just over an hour ago. I had to fly to Glasgow, then come down on the train to Leeds. Oh, you must be tired. I am. Oh, sorry. You might want to have a massage, he said. What? asked Persephone. So, how's your daughter? My daughter's just cooking dinner. OK. You'd be spending Christmas in Leeds, right? He said. Yes, said Persephone. Oh, that looks like a family reunion. Strange description. Said Persephone, I'm staying with my daughter for Christmas. OK, what are you doing for Christmas? Funny enough, I'll be working. Hate my life sometimes, but I have to do it, though. Oh, dear, what do you do? Engineer and businessman, he said. What does that mean? What do you do? I'm a logistics coordinator or personal shopper, whichever you call it. I would have thought those were two totally different things, she said. Then I have contract with an offshore company, but it's stressful, so I focus on my own business. No, he said, and replied to Persephone, saying she would have thought they were two totally different things. I just receive orders from my clients, and I travel to buy them. What kind of things do you buy? she asked. So the business takes me round the globe. Been to all continents, lol. OK, but what kind of things do you buy? Oh, OK, anything of quality, he said. Yeah, but what kind of things you're talking about? Machine parts, clothes, property. OK, clothes, machines, etc. And then clearly he copied a list from somewhere. Heavy duty machines, excavators, dredgers, tractors, file K200V, terror crushers. Many more, but no drugs or arms. What's a file K200V? asked Persephone. I don't do such he said. And what's a terror crusher? LOL, those are for manufacturing or construction companies. Yeah, but what are they? They're machines, he said, for different tasks. Yeah, but what kind of machine? And why is this so difficult? Why can't you just tell me what you do and explain it instead of me having to keep asking you? Because it's getting tedious. As far as I can tell, there is no such thing as a file K200V. I just told you what I do then about the machines. I can't know all their functions. I just receive orders and buy it, he said. Of course, you know what they do. Don't be ridiculous. I'm sure your clients send you detailed specifications. So tell me what a file K200V is, please. Or are you just a ridiculous kid pretending to do a job they know nothing about? Hello, well, he said. I'll take that to mean yes, you are a stupid kid who has no idea what they're talking about. I've explained already, said our offended stupid kid. That confirms it, she said. I just get specifications, he said. You've not explained. 
I travel and go to places I can buy them in bulk. I asked you what a file care 200V is. You can't possibly buy one without knowing what it is. OK, he said. So, a last chance to prove you aren't just an idiotic kid. Tell me what a file K 200 V is. You want me to explain the whole machine, he said. Yes, said Persephone. What is a file 200 V? Used manufacturing companies, specifically in Belize, he said. That's the first and only place I got a client who wants that. What is a file K 200 V? she asked again. And it's used for moulding and went back to my mails. It's been so long I bought that. Persephone repeated herself. I won't ask again. If you can't tell me what it is, you can go away. You put it on your list. I just said it's machine used for moulding, he said. Moulding what? she asked. Ain't you reading my messages? he tried. Moulding what? LOL, he said. Now you're being ridiculous. You know. The usual scammer tactic. Blame you if they don't know what they're talking about. Mould in what? Last chance or go away. You ask me things that ain't my field, he said. Mould in what? That's the last time I'll ask. Answer or go away. Idiot. And she started one of those infamous countdowns of ten. You don't have to talk to people this way, he said. So wrong. Scamming and being a thick, stupid idiot is also wrong, she said. She got to zero and said goodbye. LOL, he said. Can sue you for defamation? Please talk to me nicely. Maybe you might have met some criminals online. Yeah, I think she might have done, pal. Definitely. I'm not one, he said. Cole is a gentleman, sounding a bit like Dobby out of Harry Potter. You definitely are one, she said. Please do sue me for defamation. Tell me which court to meet you in. So, if you're still hurting from your past experiences with scammers, he said, please don't use that to hurt people you meet. You didn't even say what you do. I don't work. My divorce settlement supports me. You just asked me so many questions. I just came back from work. OK? Tired, he said. Have you worked out what that machine moulds yet? So enjoy your night, Persephone. Peace. You've had plenty of time to Google something, and if you can't think of something, I don't want to talk to you again till I receive the court summons. Google what? he asked. I'm not interested in talking to brainless idiotic scammers. Can't stress myself. I don't know how I have to please you, he said. Google what? she asked. What that made-up machine is used for moulding. Are you really that idiotic? Yes, I am. LOL, said our idiotic scammer. I'm beginning to think you are. So ridiculous, he said. OK, thanks for all the insults. Yeah, I thought you were. And being a lion scamming idiot isn't funny, so goodbye. I would never call you names, he said. Not that type of man. Wait for it, ladies and gentlemen, wait for it. I'm not a lion thieving idiot, said Persephone. I have respect for people, he said. Yeah, respect for the people he's trying to scam. And you've told me you'll sue for defamation, remember? When you're the lying, thieving, scamming idiot. So how is that, defamation? Do you even know what it means? LOL, he said. Definitely. You met so many scammers online. I'm sorry for all that, but don't talk to people that way. You're so damn wrong. Good morning and Merry Christmas, Persephone, he said on Christmas Day. It's amazing how many scammers were online on Christmas Day. I wasn't. I'm a good man, OK? So just relax. I understand why you're angry and raging. But I've seen such fate before. In May 2021, a lady deceived me online. So we're even, OK? Have a lovely Christmas with your daughter. It's a season of celebration and love. So I send you much love and good tidings from here. Enjoy. Hi, dear friend, he said the following day. I assume you've had time to work out what that machine moulds. No! he said. So you are a lying, thieving scammer, or maybe you're just an idiot. You must be a very stupid, insensitive and foolish lady who's suffering from anxiety attacks, he said. Please cry more and perish. I try to be lenient and kind with words with you, but I know now you're a big disgrace to womanhood and humanity who doesn't respect or value another fellow human. You're just a loser, so burn and keep on burning.
You're such a lovely man, said Persephone. I can't imagine why anyone would not want you as their best friend. Oh, wait. He sent a thumbs up. Goodbye, she said. Yes, goodbye, he said. Followed a week later by Happy New Year. Do you mind if I give you a business proposal that would benefit you greatly? Hello. Sorry for this mode of communication, he said. I have a serious fatal disease, throat cancer. I have an amount of, well, you can try and work out what that means, but I think it's probably 15 billion euros, or it might be one and a half billion euros. It could be anything, really. Which I would like to give to a serious and honest person so that he may be worthy of gratitude. My current physical condition does not allow me to carry out the project. What I am about to do will provide you with the financial resources to do so, because at the time of our death, we would not have received any significant benefit. I would love to hear from you, as I thought a lot about this decision, and asked the creator to send me his or her son or daughter to play with. I have no idea what all this is. I want to give this amount as a gift before my death. The Lord considered the absence of this disease, for which there is no cure. I don't know who can accept this gift and help abandoned children, handicapped children and orphans and build great churches in your country. So if you're interested, send me your WhatsApp number so we can chat more calmly. Thanks for understanding. I sincerely hope that nobody ever thinks that anyone that they don't know is randomly going to send them one and a half billion euros. At this point, of course, our man disappeared because Persephone had had enough of him. I hope you enjoyed this silly tale of a daft scammer. If you did, please like it, please share it, please comment down below, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again in another video.